Hickok 45, and guess what? Time for a big game hunt with the Mossberg 590A1 retro grade. I mean, I just uh, looking for things to shoot with it because I love the Mossberg 590A1, and whether it's retro or not. So we're going to use it to shoot some big game. Okay, yeah, I mean, I mean, slugs. You know, what can be better for big game you know, than a slug? And a lot of you hunt big game, you know, deer, other animals, hogs with slugs. So we've got some of the small federal shorty shells in here, okay? We thought we'd try those on the big game hunt today. Appreciate federal's help, okay? And you'll see those. So uh, it's a shotgun, it's not a rifle, but I'm gonna try to pop those uh, animals over there. And you know the drill if you've seen a big game hunt yet. I think there are 22 of them. And uh, I start with a gong, and I end with a gong. And I don't shoot anything except animals, all right? So here we go with the little short slug. Now, they're an ounce, an ounce of lids, an ounce of lead. Let's put one in the chamber. You can sort of see that little booger in there. <laughs> We've got one of those adapters here so that we can shoot them. And uh, I've got the sights sort of OK. Uh, probably could use a little more tweaking. Let's, uh, let's just start down in the right lower right corner. All right. Now, I may have some misses today, so bear with me. But I just want to do this so badly because I love hunting big game with a shotgun, even if I struggle. All right. Pop that one. All right. Move right across. All right, let's go back to the right. <laughs> Get the next row. All right, let's go up to the right. Get that turkey up there. No. Oh, thought I was going to miss him. Let's just get the turkeys. Wow. All right. That, I knew that was high. Why did I shoot? Got one more. All right, <laughs> let's load him up. Well, I really did expect to struggle because uh, I have been struggling a little bit with it. Uh, but maybe I've got the sights in pretty good shape. All right, so this is what we're shooting. And I struggle, do struggle getting these open, I have to say. So I don't struggle with opening stuff uh, because I have a knife in my pocket. <laughs> so I don't struggle very long. It holds 12 of these shorty, what are they called? You know, shorty shot shells. Federal hasn't been loading these for very long, so it's cool that they are. It holds 12 of them, all right? So we're empty, safety's on. And this is the little uh, adapter, the Upsaw. They're out of Texas, and, and uh, as I mentioned in the main video, these things tend to work uh, with Mossbergs. So far, we've enjoyed excellent reliability. Really to the point where if I it's all reason to, and I guess the main reason would be capacity and maybe reduce recoil. I don't know. I wouldn't mind actually uh, having one of these in here or, or a magazine full of them for self-defense maybe. I don't know. So anyway, all right, that must be 12. All right, before I shoot those now, I want to also thank Atmex.com for all their support. Okay, great company online. Everything you can imagine in terms of uh, silver bullion coins, silver bullion, gold bullion, collectible coins, numismatics, you name it. They've got it all. There's a link in our description. There's a Hickok 45's favorite page. And uh, we really appreciate their support. Old coins are just cool. I've always liked them. And new coins, too. <laughs> so it holds 12 of these babies. Speaking of precious metal, we're going to send some precious metal. I mean, it doesn't get much more precious than lead, does it? All right, so far, 
I'm, uh, I'm pleased. I'm a little surprised, actually. All right. Maybe I just haven't started my missing yet. It's yet to come. All right, turkey. Go left. Uh, I knew I was going to do that. I shot too soon. My sights were not on the target. What's wrong with me? Yeah. This is fun. It's kind of like a shooting gallery. Have you noticed? All right, go up on the left. Get that pig up there. All right. And you know what? It just dawned on me. I, I didn't shoot the gong first. I'm supposed to start with a hit on the gong. So I'm going to do it. Is it okay if I'm late? I knew you would understand. Let's put one on the gong. All right, just want to make sure it's an official uh, shoot. All right, now, Mr. Buffalo. Mr. Ram. <laughs> All right, got a little turkey up there. Let's try him. Low, maybe? I don't know. All right. All right, Mr. Ram. Yep. I'm empty. It sounded like I hit him. I, must, I, I know I hit him low. I thought I was going to miss it. All right. That, uh, that ram and that buffalo both don't want to fall lots of times. If we need to, we'll get out some full stuff here. But, uh, you know, these are an, uh, 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 an ounce, I'm trying to say. And what did you say? Twelve, Yeah, 1,200 feet per second. So you might look at these little things like they're kind of anemic looking. But an ounce of lead trucking along 1,200 feet per second. Ah, it's a load. I don't think anybody has any uh, uh, handguns that, that do that of any sort. <laughs> All right. Did I put enough in there? Hopefully. All right. Mr. Ram. Might have to hit him on the horn. I'm too high. go <laughs> all right tilt the ball now we'll end it properly with a round on the gong ball. all right i didn't leave any standing did i so i got an empty round in the chamber and uh so you know a shotgun can be a pretty nice rifle can it so another big game hunt and uh with one of my favorite shotguns all my favorite targets i thought i'd just shoot the shorty rounds today maybe take it a little bit easier on them they've been good friends for a long time they've been my buddies over there and i just thought it'd not be quite as punishing uh to them today but still they had to go over and and they did so uh, anyway, glad you all came out. It's a nice uh, uh, evening, a little chilly, but it's never, uh, I'll quote Shakespeare, it's never too cold to shoot. I think that's what he said one time. He wrote in one of his plays. So anyway, glad you came out. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. 
Italian grips makes uh, grips. Can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms, you can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballistol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballistol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to Ballistol.com, TalonGunGrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.